It's probably not smart to lift this, but it's from Samsung. We open up and take a look at the Samsung countertop convection microwave 1.1 cubic foot capacity slim fry. Welcome everybody, another Spike Studio product review. This time we're gonna take a quick look here in the studio before we go live to the kitchen, which we kind of have here at Spike Studio. Uh, Samsung has sent us over their pretty giant, I'm leaning on it to give you an idea. Usually we hold up our demos, but this thing is, eh, this thing is giant. Uh, it's ceramic on the inside. This is one of their multi-purpose all cook smart ovens is what this is. Ceramic on the inside. It has the uh, no oil cooking. It has the microwave capability. It has the con little convection capability. It's got everything built inside. Uh, we normally do an unboxing. The problem is the way they box this, as I open it up for you, is everything, and this thing is just one huge unit, is inside the actual packing, except for the little circular plate that actually goes in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set it up. We're gonna take it upstairs. We're gonna start using it. We're gonna do the test and let you know what we think about capabilities, function, and all the features that are included. All right, so we brought it up from the studio like we promised. We've put it on the counter. People have talked about, does it fit on a normal counter? Well, this is, these are standard with counters. They have, um, you can see how deep it really is. The plug comes taped to the back, the front comes taped up, but it fits fine. Now remember, these are not made to be built into anything. They need the ventilation. So do not shove it in a corner that has no air circulation or ventilation. They're pretty clear about that in the directions. Now you may ask, where are the directions? I ask that too. They're normally on top of the box when you open the lid. We didn't find it there. All we found was the d disc of doom. No, the arrow, you know, the rotating tray. That's all we found earlier. But we know that hopefully inside it will be there. So we're gonna plug it in though while we do this. Ugh. So we can see it light up. Uh, the door is taped twice on the top, once on the side. So we're gonna peel the tape. Oh, at least it doesn't blink 12 like your VCR used to do back in the day. So it, they pack a really good job. It's got four pieces of styrofoam there to hold it. Then on the inside is the instruction book. I wish they'd put it on the top of the box because I'd like to read this first before I take the whole thing apart. Honestly, that's just a thing for me. And then on the inside, this is the uh, grilling piece for the grilling feature that's also built in. And then a whole bunch of other little components are jammed into this box that we can take apart in a few minutes. So let's talk about the different modes while we open this box. It has quite a few different options. Of course, it has a standard microwave. It's a built-in everyday microwave where you can, uh, it has a preheat for popcorn, and some other features. Now the cool parts are the slim fry as well as the convection and the grill. Uh, the grilling idea is you put this actual stand in there, put the food on it, set it in grill mode. So across the keys, which we have some screenshots of things we have up there, you can choose a combination of microwave and convection, just the grill, just the microwave, just the convection. It does need to preheat when you're using certain modes, meaning you're gonna wait for it to preheat, but it's smaller, so it shouldn't take as long as a normal oven but it will need to preheat for other ones. Microwave, it has different power levels, it has timers. You use the dial a lot for a lot of the settings when you're doing them. Uh, you actually choose based upon the type of thing you're cooking, maybe the weight of the meat, or is it chicken nuggets, or is it you know some of those other pieces. So there's a couple different areas that you do with that. Uh, they did a good job of taping the heck out of this thing, so you can't get it out of here, almost on purpose, because the other piece that's in here, besides the grill, as you can hear, is the lovely metal part. Now, what should we put in this? This is the actual grilling piece you can put underneath. What should you put in this convection everywhere else? Uh, it has to be microwave safe if you're doing microwave stuff. It also should be, guess what? Totally oven safe because this is basically an oven. So you wouldn't want to put anything in there, they say in the book too. No paper, they don't want any paper towels in the convection oven in the grill settings. You want to use things that you can actually cook on inside of a regular oven due to the temperatures. Uh, the preheats are anywhere from 400 and down. You use the dial to set what you want for that. Uh, we could do some tests in these. I will say a lot of the other reviewers have done a fine job of saying what you can cook, what you shouldn't cook, how long it took, did it turn out right, did you have to rotate it, uh, how well does the microwave work. They've done a superior job of testing all that. Uh, we want to focus a lot on the functionality of did it fit, how did you set it up, what did you put it together with, and did it look nice when it was on the counter. So, minding all the plastic that's still on there right now, it's a stainless steel cover. I believe they have another option in the black. Looks good on the counter, takes a space. You have to leave the ventilation that's on there. And we'll update the actual posting with more information on the cooking, but for the actual look and feel and what it does, 
We like it. This would be great in a camper. It would be great in a mobile home. It would be great in a motor home if you travel around a lot to have a full oven with you that does everything. Or if you like to do a lot of camp outs and you have power, this might be the solution for you. It's another product review from Spike Studio. Make sure you subscribe to all the product reviews we have on YouTube. And if you have something else you want to see, leave it in the comments below. Or if you have your own product, send it on, get in touch. We got to take a look at it. Thanks for watching.